guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, as promised, I told you that I would show you how I'm setting the bar up for our Halloween party. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. First, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, behind me is the bar. I have set it up. Obviously, the cocktails are not in. Um, we are making three cocktails, all three of which I have shown you, or will have shown you. <laughs> this video may go up before the last two keto cocktails. I'm not sure which will go up. They're all kind of going up this week. I do not have a bar. This area was completely blank, and um, I uh, wanted to do it as inexpensively as possible, so what I did was buy a fridge, right there, a beverage refrigerator, and then I bought two of the same, um, basically they're bars, if you will, um, it's kind of where you would put your wine glasses or um, you know store your alcohol. You, there's multiple ways, there's a drawers, you can sort of manipulate them to your liking. So um, what I did was, let's start with each section because it's sort of in three sections. Start with the decor up on top. So lounge whiskey and wine. Um, I actually got that off of Etsy and I designed it. So I just asked the, the person that made them, can you say whiskey and wine? My husband likes whiskey, I like wine. You know, Prosecco's very long, so we went with wine. Um, and then what I did was take those inexpensive little placemats they came in like a pack of six added some spiders and fake little bats and we have even a big spider over there so that's the decor on the wall now let's talk about this section here what i did was add purple lights around so the theme we talked about this with the party is that the theme is purple so black and purple uh, these glasses, so this section is poison ivy. Okay, so that's gonna be the cocktail. Miss Patty found the cutest skull um, decanter, so we are going to actually pour the cocktail in here, and then people will just take their little glass. These are plastic, by the way, you guys. Oh my gosh, come on. They came in the pack of 24. There's three colors. This one is kind of the black and gray one, and they're a flute. They're plastic, so yay. And you just come under here and and there you have your poison ivy. Um, what we did was put it on a stand so that you could use it. I sprayed some ivy black and put a little bit of um, silver glitter. And then on this side, Miss Patty Cakes made poison ivy. It literally says what the cocktail is. And then we have the little pumpkin. These light up. Let me put that on. Um, and. Boom, we have the poison ivy cocktail. Section one, cocktail one. For those of you that have not seen my poison ivy cocktail, all the cocktails that I'm making will be listed in the description box so you can watch those videos. Just remember I didn't make it, I made it for one person, not a group. So it's, we're gonna, we're gonna group it. Now how would I take poison ivy and that's a huge decanter that's probably three gallons um, not making three gallons um, so what we're going to do is poison ivy i have sliced at green apple in it so i'm going to add apple we are doing the big uh, balls of ice and in edible glitter green edible glitter that's going to give it some uh that's going to help fill it as well all right now for the middle section all right, you guys, so the middle section here is the drink is going to be brain matter. Um, so again, we have a little thing here. We have to change the name of this um, because we, I've actually changed the cocktail up. So this is going to be brain matter. We're going to have dry ice in this little cauldron. And then we have, and then we have a punch bowl here, rocks glasses. Um, this is a decanter. This one is from Pottery Barn. This one is so cute with the hand and it's solid. And then we have like a little black cauldron and then we have these lights. Um, I can list them. You just add a battery. It has a light, you can see. And then it also has a strobe light. Um, and I'm not gonna point it to you, but, but you, you get the idea. Uh, and so we're gonna have one pointing this way and we actually have one behind poison ivy 
cocktail as well. So we just have some little decorations there. Okay, the third and final cocktail, well, again, we're gonna use these glasses here for this cocktail. Uh, with the punch, um, I went with a rocks glass because you know when you're ladling something, it's very hard to ladle into a flute. Um, and so that's why we went with a rocks glass there. With this one, uh, we did the red because this is Nurse Ratchet. And um, in this right here, I'll show you a picture. Uh, you make the, that ice ring. And so we made one with like spiders. We made one with eyeballs. Um, so we made two of them and it's gonna go there with a bottle of Prosecco. These will be on ice and filled with the um, stuff that makes the Prosecco kind of fun. So the Prosecco will go in the glass and they will take one of these and then just, it'll be like this. <laughs> We're gonna have a few set up. You grab it, you shoot it in, boom, you have Nurse Ratchet. And again, all these cocktails I will list for you as well. Over here, this is actually made by Keurig. Um, I'm not really sure if they make this anymore, but instead of using, um, instead of using coffee pods, it uses alcohol pots and it makes everything from Mai Tais to White Russians. So this little skull right here will be filled with ice so that if somebody doesn't want one of these three cocktails, they can have a variety of other cocktails. And of course we will have wine as well. All right, you guys, well, that is it. That is the bar set up for our um, Halloween party. If you have not seen how we, have, you, if you haven't seen some of the food that we're making, that's not all we're making, but it's some of the food that we're making, um, I will list that in the description box as well. All right, you guys, well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, can you take a moment, hit that thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.